y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this is my channel where i share all about my making adventures today is probably going to be a shorter episode because the only thing i've really worked on are socks i finished a pair and started two other pairs <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna be talking socks today. I hope that you're excited to see what I have been working on. Today is April 19th. It is 9.49 a.m. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady, and I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me, as well as links to all of my Ravelry project pages, which always has full details on my projects and also any shops that I talk about. Um, if there's a link for them, I will put those down below in the description box as well. So finished objects. I finished my toe up socks that I was working on. Very happy with these. So for these ones, they were just using up some leftover yarns that I had. This main collar was from a pair of socks that I did for my niece and it is Legacy Fiber Arts in the Tuxedo colorway. The heel and toe are just stuff that I had in my scrap pile. I have no clue what they are, just some black, and then just this pretty color for the heel. But these I did do toe up. I knit them on, well I did the toe on Magic Loop, and then I knit the main part of the sock on nine inch circulars. I did an afterthought heel and I do have a tutorial for an afterthought heel. It is on a cuff down sock, but the way that the heel is done is still the same way. So there's my afterthought heel. For the cuff, I did knit two purl two ribbing for 20 rounds, I believe. And then a Jenny surprisingly stretchy bind off. For that so that is my finished pair of socks these will probably end up being a gift that's what I'm thinking and I'm very happy to have these done very happy to have used up I used up almost all of this yarn there's like the tiniest little bit left in both of this the balls that I had of it so that made me very happy to use up a lot of this main color for these socks uh, these ones I started on March 22nd and finished on April 16th for those. Uh, the toe, I've had so many questions about. I do not have a tutorial for that. I've talked about it before. Right now, my focus is just so much elsewhere. Right now, all of this is just, can you guys hear the airplanes going over right now? Helicopters, maybe? I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, anyways, right now, my focus is elsewhere, if I'm being honest. I am just not, I don't know, wanting to do anything like that at the moment. So whenever there is a tutorial, if there's a tutorial, I will let you know. I get so many questions about it, um, but my focus is just elsewhere. And it's just on my knitting being a hobby, my making being a hobby, and I am happier than I have been in years. So <laughs> right now, no plans for a tutorial. Um, like I said, if there is one, I will let y'all know, but I just have to do what is making me happy. And right now it's just focusing on other things and my knitting and making being hobbies. So sorry about that, but I just wanted to make sure I talked about that because I always get a lot of questions anytime I show I've done a toe up sock. Okay. Works in progress. I have three socks. The first one, this has had, it's had some work since the last time, but not as much as the other ones, you will see. <laughs> this is in a bag from By the Lakeside. This is a Christmas bag because this was my Christmas Eve cast on last year. So this is my Follow Your Path sock pattern. I do have the heel done. I think this has had some work. If it hasn't, I'm sorry, you're seeing it in the same spot, but this is still the first sock. This yarn is from Mountain State Stitches and it is her Christmas Eve sock set. 
very pretty. Show her tag. So this one I'm doing a Magic Loop 32 inch US 1 2.25 millimeter Chow Gu. And I'm using the green that came with the sock set for the heel and the toe. I have not worked on these a ton because I may have cast on another Follow Your Path sock. This one is in a bag from Laughing Stitches. It says socks on the front. It's very cute. And this is my April yarn. Ooh, I do have one done. Let me put it on a blocker. This is the April Yarnable. There is the yarn. So, so pretty. And I have finished one. I've worked on these so much. I am really obsessed with the follow your path sock pattern. I talked about it last episode. It is such an easy four row repeat. I do have a stitch tutorial. Um, I've had a lot of questions about how the stitch is done. There is a video in the sock pattern. Um, that shows you step by step how that stitch tutorial is done or how that stitch is done <laughs> it's so pretty and then it does have an eye of partridge heel flap and it's so stretchy i'm going to show them there so you can see it really stretched out but look how small it is off the blocker it has so much stretch to it so I did do a knit two purl two ribbing for the cuff. I did 25 rounds for that. And the second one, I am almost to the heel. I am doing these on Knitter's Pride Zing DPNs. I do believe I have those linked in my Amazon storefront. I'm almost positive. I have my little progress keeper. It's not really marking anything. It's just hanging out there. It's the little bunny that came in the yarnable box. He's cute. So these are what have been getting the most work. Even if I just sit down and get one row done or four rounds. That's what I've been doing. Like this morning I'd finished my workout and I had, I don't know, I think I ended up with like 10 minutes that I could sit down. So I, I pulled the sock out. I did four rounds, one repeat of the pattern. And then I had to go big wide up, but <laughs> any little bit of knitting that I can get done, I squeeze it in whenever I can. Um, let's see. I think that's really it for those. US 1, 2.25 millimeter, if I didn't say. That's always what I do my socks on unless I'm, excuse me, doing 9 inch, which is what this next pair is. This is a, another new cast on. This is in a bag for Mountain State Stitches. And this is using Regia Perfect yarn. This is the Arnie and Carlos design line, color 09139. And that shows what they will look like. So with a Regia Perfect, you get two matching socks. And you start, it does have instructions, but you start with the yellow. And what I do is I get to where the yellow ends and the next color starts and that's where I cut the yellow yarn and then it has your yarn for your cuff if you're doing cuff down and then once that color ends you start knitting your leg so then I'm just doing plain stockinette right now and I will continue doing that until I get to where the blue starts again you can see the blue for the heel there. So I will get to that point and then I will do my heel and then back to this for the foot. It's a lot of fun. I've done 
Reggie Perfect socks before. I think I've only knit them for Eric and I've always wanted to do one for myself, but I have quite a few in the stash. So I have a few that Eric bought me and then a few that I bought myself. I can't remember where this one is from, if I bought it or he did, but regardless, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Nine inch circulars, chow goo, US zero, because my gauge is looser on nine inch circulars, just the way I hold it, I suppose. But yes, thoroughly enjoyable. This has been my um, kind of like on the go knitting. I started it, when did I start that? Sometime last week, Friday maybe, Thursday, Friday so that I would have it for Saturday, Sunday, all of that kind of stuff. And I'm basically just following my vanilla socks on nine inch pattern, just as far as like how I'll do the heel and all of that. That's basically the pattern that I'm following for that. I did work on those, I'll put a picture in here. So we had, this is kind of transitioning from knitting cause that's all the whips I have super short today. So this is kind of transitioning into like what I've been up to since the last episode and life stuff and all of that. But I will put a picture up here. I worked on these a lot on Saturday. We had nice weather here. It was such a beautiful day. So we took the doors, or I say we, Eric took the doors off of my Jeep <laughs> Wrangler. And we went on our first ride of the year without the doors. And we had the top back, the windows down in the back. And we popped the very back windows out because I have a power top on mine. So it's a little different when you go um, topless with a power top. But anyways, so we did all that. I will put a picture of the Jeep and then of me knitting um, while Eric was driving because he drove most of the day. So we ran some errands and I got a raised bed for my cut flower garden. I need to get one more. I don't have any pictures of it. It's sitting outside, um, but I will definitely get some pictures once I get to working on it. We haven't done anything with it yet. Um, not quite, we've had some cold weather, so it's not quite time to get to planting things in, in those yet because it might not end well. We had a frost warning this morning, actually. Um, but yes, we ran some errands. We went down to Lebanon and then went to Valley Vineyards, the, I guess you could say our local winery. We have a few others around here, but, um, the one that we really like. So we went down there, we had lunch, a glass of wine, brought some wine home. It was such a lovely day. We haven't been down there in so long. And then Sunday, it got crazy cold. So we didn't get to do much on Sunday, but I'm glad that we had a really nice day on Saturday to get to be outside and get some things, some errands ran and just enjoy um, a nice, nice day together. We did finish parenthood. Finally, we finished it either Sunday or Monday. I cannot remember now what day we finished it, but yeah, I'm very sad that it's over. I was wrecked <laughs> watching the series finale. If you've seen it, I'm sure you understand. I was, I was wrecked. Um, so we immediately started watching something light afterwards. We watched Oh my gosh, what is it called? Farmer Wants a Wife. It just makes me laugh. It is a little bit ridiculous, but I can't, once I start watching something, I usually can't stop watching. <laughs> I have to know what happens. So we watched Farmer Wants a Wife, got caught up on that because we had watched a few episodes when it first came out. So we got caught up on that. Um, what else have we been watching? Nothing really. We're just kind of like that in between where you've like binged an entire series and now it's like, what do we watch now? Last night we watched some documentary about Xanax and I think it was on Netflix, Hulu, one of those two. We watched that last night. We love documentaries, true crime things. Um, so yeah, we might do that for a little while until we decide what series we're going to dive into watch some documentaries for a while maybe we'll see the, like I said the weather's getting nicer and we don't tend to watch as much TV when the weather gets nicer so we will see if we dive into another series right now but I think that wraps it up for today definitely a shorter episode this week but sometimes that is just gonna happen <laughs> I did not, I worked on a couple blankets here and there, but nothing really like, 
progress to really show. So I just thought we would focus on socks. I need to get caught up on my temperature blanket. I was thinking about that this morning actually when I was looking at the weather and I was like, man, the temperatures have just been so all over the place this past week. I'm like, oh my gosh, you have not worked on your temperature blanket. So that's probably what I will do today is sit down and write out all the temperatures from the last date that I added to now and then I can work on that in the evening so when we do sit down to relax for the evening. But thank you guys for joining me today for this shorter episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know so many of you have went and purchased the follow your path sock pattern. It is available on Etsy and Ravelry. If you want to knit along with me, we're not doing a big knit along. This is just you want to knit along with me I'm a little obsessed right now and I think I'm gonna cast on another pair after I finish the two <laughs> that I have going right now it's just such a easy mindless fun pattern so all right that's all I've got for today I will talk to you guys again soon until then happy making bye